Hi, welcome to the discussion of cycladal curves. Here was the given problem. A circle of 50 mm diameter rolls along a straight line without slipping. Draw the curve traced out by a point P on the circumference for one complete revolution. Name the curve. Draw tangent to the curve at a point on it 40 mm from the line. Now what do you mean by cycladal curve? Cycladal curves are generated by a point lying on the circumference of a circle when it rolls along a straight line without slipping. Now we will solve the problem. Diameter of the circle is 50 mm. Then we will take 25 mm as a radius, C as a center, draw one circle. After that, locate a point P on the circle, say P and this is C. After drawing the circle, then divide the circle into even parts, that is 12 parts. So for that, first divide the circle into 4 parts. Then locate a point P. Then divide this total circle into 12 parts. Take CP that is radius of the rolling circle as a radius, C as a center, draw an arc. Similarly, this end with the same radius, draw an arc. with this end with the same radius draw an arc that is without protractor we are dividing the circle into 12 parts then give numbers for those division points on the circle say 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. After that, perpendicular to CP, that is perpendicular to CP, draw tangent to the circle. Next, the length of the tangent is equal to the circumference of the rolling circle. As the diameter of the rolling circle is 50 mm, then the length of the directing line is equal to pi into d, that is pi into diameter is 50 mm. p dash, p, p dash. P P dash is directing line length that length is equal to pi d that is pi into diameter of the rolling circle then divide P P dash into 12 parts by using acute angle line method After dividing the directing line into 12 parts, then draw lines parallel to PP dash passing through different division points on the rolling circle. After that, 
give lettering for those intersection points of the perpendiculars as well as locus of path line passing through C. Say C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12. After that, with compass, CP as radius, that is rolling circle radius as radius, C1 as center. Then, ran arc on first division line passing through the rolling circle. Then, C2 as center with the same radius, draw an arc on second division line this is second division line passing through the circle then c3 as center draw an arc on third division line c4 as center fourth division line c5 as center fifth division line c6 exactly you will get here then seventh division c7 as a center then C8 as a center, 8th division, draw an arc on the 8th division, C9, 9th division, C10, 10th division, C11, 11th division. After that, Say this is the P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12. Passing through all these points, draw smooth curve. After drawing the curve, then we have to draw the normal and tangent that uh, point is at a distance 40 mm from the directing line that is from the directing line locate a point at a distance 40 mm so from the directing line this distance is 40 name this point as m after that M as a center, CP as radius, CP means rolling circle radius, M as a center, CP as radius, draw an arc on locus of path line, draw an arc on locus of path line, then draw perpendicular to the directing line that is m as a center m as a center rolling circle radius as a radius draw an arc on the locus of path line from locus of path line draw perpendicular then you will get n join n and m perpendicular to this line passing through M draw another line here this is normal and this one tangent after that we have to show the direction of rolling circle. The circle rolls in which direction? Clockwise direction. So, we have to show the direction of the rolling circle.
after that so how to do the dimensioning of the rolling circle as well as uh, length of the directing line that's about the construction of cyclic